Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Badash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations. Much love and respect to Yahim out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Now, this lesson is going to be entitled Get Rid of All Doubt. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, the image you see on the uh, on the screen is the mind of the average Israelite today, okay, with all these different philosophies and doctrines and, and you know, um, you know, uh, how do you call it, uh, old wives' tales, okay, everything is just entering into this, this individual's brain and it becomes what, a ball of confusion, like when you see an Israelite that, um, you go to their page and you'll see they're watching Sakari, they're watching IUIC, they're watching ISUPK, they're watching this, they're watching that, they're watching Sonetta TV. All right, you already know that that person is not rooted. You know that person is confused. And they're really walking on the path of destruction, although they believe that they're in the truth. Okay? Why? Because their mind is accepting of all type of doctrines and, and, and so-called wisdom. Now, I did a lesson, um, was it yesterday or the day before, dealing with um, the first step being finding the teachers of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That is the first step, okay? But when you find the teachers, you cannot doubt. Doubt is a demon, all right? Doubt is a demon that enters into the minds through Satan, okay? And it causes you not to... Um, it causes you to lack faith You know, to not be rooted Okay, uh, so let's get uh, Romans 14 And I'll start at verse four, uh, 22 It says, hast thou faith? Have it to thyself Before the Most High Happy is he that condemneth not himself In that thing Which he alloweth Okay, so that's why the scriptures say, do not let your sins weigh you down, because that can lead to doubt as well. Okay, doubting that the Lord is dealing with you, doubting that you're a man of the Lord because of sins that you've committed, mistakes that you've done. But the scriptures say, a righteous man falleth seven, seven times and getteth back up. Okay, it says that he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith, for whatsoever is not of faith is sin and this is why it's very very important for people to come to the Passover when they are ready when they are fully persuaded because if they're not fully persuaded it's better they don't even eat of the Passover because you'll be condemned eating if you're not fully persuaded in your mind that this is the truth okay like I said the first step is to find the men of the Lord okay and then once you are persuaded that you found a man that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is dealing with then you go forward in um in, in uh, full throttle in learning the truth. All right? Does that mean that everything that man says is 100% always uh, correct? You know, the, the man won't have a slip of the tongue or things of that nature. No, it doesn't mean that. He's still a man. Okay? And men, you know, have, have slip of the tongues and things of that nature. But that doesn't make, that doesn't mean he doesn't have the full understanding just because he sl he had a slip of the tongue all right okay or did something that that rubbed you the wrong way that doesn't mean he's not a man of the lord okay this is romans 5 Ro romans 14 and 5 it says one esteemeth one day above another another every day alike let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind and you have to be fully persuaded in this truth let's look up the word fully and then we're going to look up the word persuaded okay <clears throat> okay seems like it's one word piero for real piero for real and it says um be fully persuaded be most surely believed be fully known Right, you have to know this truth, man. You have to know that this is the truth. You have to know 
that this is the, the correct doctrine, the, the new song. Because there's one new song. There's not two new songs. There's not uh, a people. Because the scriptures speak about the elect singing that new song. So they're not going to sing part of the new song. They're going to sing the full new song. They're not going to have, oh, this guy has half of the lyrics. That guy has 20% of the lyrics. That guy has 25% of the lyrics. No. They're going to have the, the full song, 100% of the song. And that's what we mean when we say the 100% truth. Make full proof of, okay, in the scripture, another scripture says what? Make full proof of thy ministry. It says to bear or bring full, to make full, right? To cause a thing to be shown to the full. So you have to understand this thing fully, okay? Okay? The doctrine, all right? To fulfill the minute. And that doesn't mean you're going to know every breakdown right away or, you know, things of that, you know, know every single thing. Or, you know, or remember every single breakdown, but you have to understand the doctrine fully. Okay, you know that the, that Russia is not part of the beast because you understand that Russia is going to be the one to to come against the harlot. So the harlot that sitteth upon the beast, you know, Russia is not part of the beast. You see what I'm saying? So there's certain things that you know based upon what the doctrine. Okay, you know. It says to fulfill the ministry in every part, to carry through the to the end, accomplish. So, anyways, you get the point, man. To be fully persuaded, okay. Convince one, okay. To convince one, that's what persuaded me. To be fully convinced, okay. All right. So, <clears throat> let's get um, Romans four. I'll start at verse. <laughs> Let's go to I'll start at 19 It says And being not weak in faith This is speaking about Abraham He considered not his own body Now dead When he was about 100 years old Neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb He stacked So, so Abraham believed Even though when you read the story He kind of laughed He believed That was a, a laugh of, of joy all right, because he it says here he believed he didn't he didn't doubt. It says, let me read it again. It says, and being not weak in faith, he considered not his his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old. Neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. All right, so when Sarah laughed, she doubted. She didn't really believe it. Okay, that's why the angel said, why did you laugh? And eventually, uh, his name, the son's name, was called Isaac, which means laughter based upon Sarah's laughter. Okay, that's why the angel didn't check um, Abraham because it was a different type of laughter. He staggered not at the promise of the Most High through unbelief, right? That's when you stagger. Okay, that's when you start going from this doctrine to that doctrine. Oh, let me learn from this guy, to that guy, because you're not fully, uh, you don't fully believe the doctrine. So you think that there's more to it. You think that not, not they don't fully got. That's why people say, "Oh, there's no one can't one can't miss 100 percent truth because they're not fully persuaded in their mind that this is the truth." Right? It says, "But was strong in faith, giving glory to the Most High, and be, being fully persuaded that what He had promised, He was able also to perform." Okay, this is why Abraham was is willing. To, to, to put Isaac to death for the most high because he was fully persuading that, that all those things the heavenly father said unto him would be granted unto him including uh, Isaac being the heir you know that he would raise him back up again he believed that you know and therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness okay so we have to really believe in everything that Yahweh Shem Yahushai has promised all right, and including taking care of us in the time of Jacob's trouble and making sure we have food to eat. That's the last thing on my mind is to worry about, oh, what am I going to eat tomorrow? Listen, I already know Yahweh Shemel Shai has things prepared, man. Okay, because he said it. He promised, man. All right? So you have to, you have to, um, you have to be um, fully persuaded in that. But the first step, like I said, I'm going to say it again. I got to keep saying it. The first step is being fully persuaded 
in your uh, who you've learned this from, uh, and knowing whom th thou has learned it. <sighs> Gotta bring this out again because it, it's important. It's not. It's not a light thing. You could, it, you know. This is the first step, man. This is uh this is um I'll start at verse Second Timothy Second Timothy three and verse twelve it says Yea, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach Yahushai shall suffer persecution, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. And these other uh, people that are not teaching the right doctrine are seducers, okay? Deceiving and being deceived, and you and one thing you notice about these guys they wax worse and worse, okay? And that's another sign that they're not, they don't have the full truth because the full truth stays firm. It doesn't change. Okay. Like, like Nathaniel of the IUIC constantly changing his breakdown of the market of beast and other things. Okay. Okay. For first, it was an embargo. Then it was uh, uh, the, the image of, of Caesar. The image was the, was Caesar. It was um, Jesus Christ, the, the, the so-called white Jesus, the, um, Cesare Bogia, Serapis Christus. Okay. Now, now the now the mark has, is not that it's sin. You know, I I I S U P K was a sleeping with white woman. And then it was King Solomon had the mark. Okay. So these guys keep changing the doctrine, and it's never a consistent thing. But guess what? Through the spirit and power of Yah Bashim I can say that the apostles and and elders of Great Millstone have not wavered from the doctrine. That's another sign of, 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 of someone who, who does not have the truth. Let me read this again. Because the song doesn't change. new song doesn't change. The new song is, is, stays the same. This is 2 Timothy 3 and 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived. Okay. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and has been assured of, and has been what, and has been assured of, fully persuaded, knowing, okay, of whom thou hast learned them. You see, this is all part of it. This is all. This all comes together. Okay, you have to know who you're learning. You have to believe that you're learning it from the men of Yahweh should be Shai. Then you have to be persuaded that this is the correct doctrine. Right, you well, you hear the doctrine first, and that's what allures you. Okay, the, well, first of all, it's not even the, necessarily the speak, but you feel the power of the Alba Shibi Shai. Okay, matter of fact, let me go to um, <clears throat> let's go to matter of fact, let me go from here, let's go from to Isaiah the 30 and 20. Okay. Isaiah 30 and 20 it says and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore but thine eyes shall see thy teachers <laughs> okay so you're going to see who the teachers are and they're not going to all be teaching different doctrines where you could take a piece from this guy a piece from that guy and then say I don't have any teachers I just I just learned from this camp this camp and this camp no that's 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 called confusion Confusion means con meaning with, infusion meaning mixtures. With fusion, it's, it's not, that's not how the Lord operates, man. Okay? It says, And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the left, when ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left. That's the Holy Spirit telling you, This is the correct way. That's why Paul said, I will not know the speech of them that are puffed up, but the power he will feel. You would know and feel the power of Yahweh Shem Shai working through those men. You know, when you first come in, you don't know what's going on. You're right. A lot of things are just going right over your head. Even simple things, man. Like I was, I was stuck on the sign. I didn't know it on the sign. How 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 are, I didn't understand how uh, Caribbean people, Caribbean so-called black people, were different from African American blacks and Haitian. I didn't understand that. I thought we were the same people all this time. I thought if I were to move to America, I would automatically be an African American. You see, not understanding the seed lines. I, see, something simple like that. But I still believed that um, 
that these were the men of the Lord. You know, and I looked at different, I, I started off looking at GOCC, and I was like, wow, you know, we're Israelites and, and and whatever the case may be. But then, you know, I was going through these different camps, and I saw the apostles, and I said, yo, wow. And they were, it wasn't no fancy production, it was, they were just in a room, in a room, and it was very basic, and it was no gimmicks, no thrills, it really was like low quality camera, you know, low quality audio, but it was the, um, the things that they were saying. So anyways, and that's not to, to, to give flattery or anything like that. It's just telling you the, the honest truth. So at the end of the day, these, these are the things that, um, you know, uh, this is how you're, you become, uh, uh, you you know, you, you start, it starts with the belief, right? And, you know, the word, okay? And then you believe that, you know, the, the men that you're learning this, this truth from are the men of the Lord through the Spirit. Through the spirit, the same way that, that Peter knew that Yahweh Shai was the son of the Most High through the spirit. Okay, but he didn't understand a lot of the things that Yahweh Shai was saying. Even the thing when he said about eat my flesh and, and drink my blood. You think they understood what he was saying? He said that sounded crazy, crazy as hell to them. That's why a, a lot of those disciples left. Okay, but, right, the twelve... They remained because they were of what? The elect. They were of the elect, even though they didn't understand. That's why if you don't understand something, right? Just hold fast. Just wait. Okay? And then Yahweh Shemel Shah will reveal it to you. Okay? If you're of the elect. Okay? So anyways, <clears throat> so that's the point on that, man. The teachers are very important. He said, I will give you pastors after mine own heart. I will feed you with wisdom and knowledge. And like I said, they're not going to be teaching different doctrines. You're not going to be going about teaching uh, all the different things where you have to put the puzzle together. Does it make sense? Okay. Can two walk together lest they be agreed? But anyways, the, um, uh, rather, not not even necessarily that. It's just confusion. It's just complete confusion. Okay. So lock it. All right. It's just complete confusion. So let's get, let's deal with this. Okay. I want to deal with the word simple. So I'm going to read this scripture. It says, um, matter of fact, let's deal with, let's start from, let's start from one. So we're seven and one. This is a uh, Proverbs seven and one. It says, my son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live in my law as the apple of thine eye. Bind them upon thy fingers, write them upon the table of thine heart. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister and call understanding thy, thy kins, kins was, um, excuse me, kins woman okay that they may keep thee from the strange woman which is these false doctrines and philosophies man the fact you can have sex on the sabbath that's a strange woman right there you got israelites teaching that okay from the stranger which flattereth with her words right but it sounds good you know but it's not it's not correct for at the wit at the window of my house i looked through my cape my casement and beheld among the simple ones, I discern among the youths a, a young man void of understanding, passing through the street near her near her corner, and he went the way to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. Right, she is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without? Uh, now is she without? Now in the streets, and lieth in the wait at every corner. Right, well, they, well, they they do the same thing as wisdom. Right, because wisdom is, is it says wisdom crieth aloud on the corner of the streets. Okay, so they're crying aloud at the corner of the streets. Okay, but it's not the correct doctrine. So she caught him and kissed him, and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me, uh, with me, this day have I paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I have decked my bed with covering of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linen of Egypt, I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. See, it's very attractive. These false doctrines are very attractive. But if they don't have the, if they don't get the full, if they don't get the oil, 
right? They don't get the oil. They don't get enough oil. They're going to, to perish, okay? They're going to perish, just like the rest. I don't care if they know they're Israelites. I don't, because uh, Caiaphas knew he was an Israelite. What does that mean, okay? What would that mean? What that mean? All right? Caiaphas knew he was an Israelite, okay? Come let us uh, take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with, with, uh, with loves, okay? For the good man is not at home. He has gone a long journey. He had taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. So this is likened unto adultery. Okay, this is likened unto dealing with these other philosophies. It's likened unto adultery because it's not of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The scripture says they shall, um, the elect will, ha will have no guile found in their mouth, which means deceit. All right, so you have to get this thing right. Okay, you have to be honest. It's not, you got to be honest. A lot of these people, their pride stops them from being honest. So let's look up this word simple. I want to look up this word simple. Okay. And that's why I had I had that picture. But let me see if this if this is gonna say simple simplicity. Simplicity. Ah, there we go. Okay. Uh sim simplicity, naivety, simple, foolish, open minded. Right? Like this image I have here. Open minded. All this stuff is going in, all these different doctrines and philosophies. From all different camps, are all going inside, and he becomes a, a, a ball of confusion, and he's not rooted, and he doubts everything. Okay, <laughs> to the pure, all things are pure, right? But he doubts everything because he's not fully persuaded. Okay, he doesn't fully. He does first of all. He doesn't. He doesn't. Um, he's not fully persuaded in any doctrine. Okay. And then he's not fully persuaded. So that means he's obviously not fully persuaded in the men in whom he's learned it. That, that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is dealing with them. Okay? So, it says the evil... Oh, excuse me. Uh, it says the simple inherit folly. Let me read this. It's like, this is Proverbs 14 and verse 18. It says the simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Okay, let's look up the word prudent. Yeah, and, and taking pictures with guns and fringes. What is that? That's folly. That's a, that's someone who's not who's not wise. That's someone who's not prudent. That's a folly uh, spirit. Okay, it says uh, the prudent. Now it says prudent, crafty, subtle, and righteousness. This is subtle and crafty and righteousness because the scripture said to be harmed uh, wise as a serpent, right? Crafty, subtle as a serpent. But harmless as a dove. Because you have to see. You, listen, you got to play Esau's game on the right hand side. Okay? Esau's subtle. Esau's smiling in your face and they stab you in the back. Okay? We got to be able to smile and know that this man is the devil. All right? Did not. Um, did not. Uh, <laughs> basically, um, Paul flattered. Uh, who was that, man? Felix, I believe. Okay? Paul flattered him, man. Okay? Jacob flattered Esau. Why? Because he was being subtle, man. Okay? It says subtle, shrewd, crafty, sly, sens sensible. <laughs> A lot of these guys are not sensible. Crafty, shrewd, sensible, prudent. Okay? You see? So that's the difference between someone who's prudent and someone who's open-minded and simple. Okay? This is uh, 2 Timothy 4. In verse uh, verse two, matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna want to read this. Matter of fact, I'll start at verse three, but I want I want to read this in NLT after this too. It says, "For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, okay, meaning whole doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teaching, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth." And shall tur be turned unto fables. And this is what these guys do based upon their own lust. Based upon what they want to hear. Teach us not right things. Teach us smooth things. Like you had recently people leaving based upon the uh, the grape thing. Well, that's because they didn't, they didn't want to get persecuted for the truth. For Yahweh Shai say. Okay? So they wanted to hear a doctrine that would more fit their lifestyle. <laughs> Alright? You understand? Or like if they wanna, if they want to, um, let's say if they want to, um, 
we're long here, right? They want to hear a doctrine that fits their lifestyle, and you know, where they can still get, you know, attract the women. Okay, they don't have to change that. They could keep that and be a Hebrew Israelite, right? They could keep parts of the old man and be a Hebrew Israelite. Nope, it doesn't work that way. This is uh, a <clears> Second <throat> Timothy's four and three. It says, "For a time is coming." In the NLT, all right, it says, "For a time is coming when people." will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will teach them whatever their itching ears want to hear. That's why they say, uh, nah, I, I learned from this camp and that camp. Because this camp, I like what they say here. That this camp, I like, this this strokes my eagle hearing. And this camp, oh, they, they allow me to wear long hair in this camp. See, that's why they don't want to stay with GMS because GMS is not the fun camp. You know, it's not the cat that's going to stroke your ego. Okay? They will reject the truth and chase after myths. Okay? Oh, they can have sex on the Sabbath. Oh, yeah, they, they love that. You know, so they don't have to practice uh, discipline, you know? They don't have to practice discipline with that doctrine. <clears throat> so, anyway, so the point is, man, you have to hold the truth. Okay? And once you have the truth... You're supposed to close your mind to the truth by being fully persuaded. You're not supposed to be like this, this guy, okay, where your mind is open to every doctrine and whatever you want to, whatever comes into your mind, you just let in. No, you have to filter it in your mind. You have to try things by the spirit, by the word of Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shai, right? Being like the what? The church of Berea, Okay. So anyways, Lord willing, uh, this was edifying to the elect. Um, hopefully this wasn't too complicated. I tried to make this as simple as possible. Um, with that, Lord's willing, um, Lord's willing, you were edified. I'll say shalom.